Hi, I'm Jenny, and today I'm going to walk you through how to use Smart Translations for Email in Klaviyo. Smart Translations for Email lets marketers save time and simplify workflows by sending one multilingual campaign and building one flow instead of managing multiple language versions or using complicated flow branching. By making it easier to reach your subscribers in their preferred language, Smart Translations for Email drives engagement, conversion, and ultimately marketing ROI. In this video, you'll learn how to enable Smart Translations in your account, create a multilingual email campaign, review the performance of your multilingual email campaign, and create multilingual emails in flows. But before we get into it, if you're liking this video, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content like this. Step one, enable Smart Translations in your account. First, let's enable the Smart Translations feature in your account. For this, head to your account settings, then click on Translation under the Account tab. One thing to note is that this feature is only available if you have a paid Klaviyo plan. So if you're on a free plan, you won't see the translation page. Toggle on Translate Messages, then select which property you'd like to use to determine a profile's preferred language. By default, Klaviyo will use the Locale property, which is automatically synced to Klaviyo if you have certain e-commerce integrations, such as Shopify Markets or PrestaShop. If that's not the case, you can select another profile property from the dropdown, or collect a preferred language directly from customers, for example, via a sign-up form. You can also set which languages you want to send messages in. Your account language is added automatically, and you can select additional languages from the dropdown. For example, my brand Beantown Coffee has customers in the UK, the US, France, and Germany. English has already been added for me, and I will go ahead and add French and German to my account. Finally, you can select a default or fallback language, which will be shown to any recipients whose preferred language is not known or not selected. In my case, I'll select English since Beantown Coffee is a British company, then click Save. Step two, create a multilingual email campaign. Now that we've enabled smart translations in our account, let's create our first multilingual email campaign. Head to Campaigns in the main menu, then click on Create Campaign. Give your campaign a name, make sure you're creating an email campaign, then click Continue. For your campaign audience, make sure to select lists or segments containing profiles with multiple language preferences. In my case, it's this list called Multilingual List. Once you're done adding your audiences, click Next. Write your subject line and preview text. Beantown just launched a new summer brew, so let's go with your new summer coffee obsession has arrived, and taste the sunshine. Choose an email template from our pre-built library, or select your own. I'm going to select this one. Taste the sunshine. Choose an email template from our pre-built library. Make all necessary edits to your template. This one. Then once you're ready, Click on the Translate button at the top. You'll see this translation modal pop up. Start by letting Klaviyo know the original language that the content was created in. In my case, that's English. Then, select what languages you want to translate your email into. By default, this will include any languages you set up in your account settings, which in my case are French and German. You can also see that Klaviyo has recommended some other languages by analyzing my audience. Looks like I also have some Spanish, Polish, and Italian speakers in my list. 
Since Beantown doesn't support these languages yet, I will leave these blank. As you select languages to translate your campaign into, you will see this chart update to indicate how many recipients will receive each language. If needed, you can click the Additional Languages dropdown to view and select languages that weren't included in the initial recommendation from Clavio. Finally, double check the fallback language, which will be shown to any recipients whose preferred language is unknown or not selected. This is populated for you based on your account settings, but you can change it if needed. In my case, since my fallback language is English, this means that those Spanish, Polish, and Italian speakers in my list will receive an email in English instead. When you're ready, click on Translate. This means that those Clavio will get to work and provide a machine translation of your email in the languages you selected. The great part is you can review all of the translations to make sure everything's up to your standards. Let's make some changes here to make this sound more natural. For shorter text blocks, you can edit the text field directly. For longer text blocks, click on the pencil icon to make your edits. You can edit the text field directly. For longer text blocks, click on the pencil icon to make your edits. Once you're done, click the back arrow to continue reviewing your email. As you make edits, you can see a preview of your email in real time. Let's also make sure to review images and links, as these are not automatically translated. I'm going to change my link to send people to the French version of my website. You can also choose a different image for each language. Simply click on the pencil icon, then upload your image or choose from your image library. This is especially useful if you have text on your images. That's not the case here, so I will leave my image as is. Once you're done reviewing a language, move to the other languages by using either the drop-down or the arrows at the top. Let's also update the button link in my German email. Click on Done when you've finished reviewing all languages. If for any reason you need to make an update to the original email after it's been translated, that's okay. Let's say Beantown Coffee now offers free shipping from $40 instead of $50. As you make edits to your original email, you will see this warning show up to review your translations. Let's click on that. The part that needs reviewing will be highlighted to make it easier for you to take action. You can either request a retranslation, hit ignore, or manually edit the block. Be highlighted to make it easier for you to take action. You can either and don't forget to review the other languages as well or manually edit the block. We're almost there. Now that my translations are ready, let's preview my campaign. We're almost there. Now that my translations are ready, let's pre Here, I can see that this profile, which is an English speaker, sees the email in English, while this French-speaking profile will see the email in French, sees the email in English, and this German-speaking profile will see the email in German, and finally, this Polish-speaking profile will see the email in English, because that's the fallback language. Everything looks good, so let's close the preview and do a final review of the campaign, because that's the fallback language. Here, review all sections and make sure you see a green tick everywhere. 
If there's an issue with the translation, Clavia will flag it to you, and you can use this review button to make any necessary edits. Now all that's left is to schedule or send your campaign. Step three, review the performance of your multilingual email campaign. After your campaign has gone out, you'll want to review the results. Click on your multilingual campaign. The first thing you'll see is an overview of your campaign performance in the last 30 days. Now, if you scroll down, you will see a card that breaks down this performance by language. This gives you a big idea of the send volume and engagement across languages. For an even more detailed look, click on View More. This takes you to the Deliverability tab, where you can dive into the positive and negative engagement for each language. This will let you know if you need to optimize your messaging for a specific language. Step four, create multilingual emails and flows. Congrats, you now know how to use smart translations to create a multilingual email campaign. Let me show you how you can leverage smart translations in flows too. Navigate to Flows in the main menu. Select an existing flow or create a new one. I'm going to choose this one. Drag an email into your flow in the main menu. Click on the email and give it a subject line and preview text. Drag an email into your flow. Then select your email template. Let's go with the same one as before. Then select your email template. Let's go with the same. From here, just repeat the steps that we walked through earlier. Click the translate button and review the AI translations provided by Clavio. It's as simple as that. Here, just repeat the steps that we walked through earlier. Click the Translate button and review the AI translations provided by Clay. When an email within a flow has been translated, you'll see a translation icon appear on it. Hover over this icon to see which languages it's been translated to. And that's it. Now you know how to use smart translations to create multilingual email campaigns and flows in Clavio. It's a seamless workflow that saves time while ensuring every customer gets a personalized experience. Now it's your turn. Start using smart translations to communicate with your subscribers in their preferred language today. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and check out the description for more resources to help you learn and grow with Clavio.